Stephen Moyle, you guys, was supposed to be at least a top 10 outfielder in the American League today. He was supposed to be a player that you'd say is an all-star and should be the leader of a team. But unfortunately, Moya did not live up to that potential and is now no longer playing in the MLB. So how's everybody doing today? It's Sports All Back with another video. Today, I'm going to talk about Steven Moya and what happened to this guy. And we're also going to go through his story. Before I start though, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell and leave a like on this video. The grind to 400 subscribers has been going pretty well lately, so if you're new out here, hit that sub button. But without further ado, let's get into it. Now the first thing I need to tell you guys is something that already proved this guy could have been a legend in the MLB. He could have been really good. The man is 6'7", 260 pounds. Now... Let's go through some players in the MLB who are about six foot seven. Powerful guys like Aaron Judge. So normally when you're tall and you're you have a lot of weight and Moya all that weight of his is muscle, then you're gonna have a lot of power. And well that's what Steven Moya was and still is. And in the major leagues he didn't really prove much, but in the minor leagues, especially in his prospect days, this guy was supposed to be bright for the future. As at the beginning of his minor league career, he wasn't the best as his average was low. For example, in 2011, he had a 204 batting average with 13 home runs and 39 RBIs. But then after in 2014, that's when he started becoming powerful. Because that season in double A in 133 games, he had a 276 batting average with 35 home runs and 105 RBIs. Sure, you could tell me it's just double A. But still, it's I find it crazy that a player in the minors had 35 home runs in one season. Because let me clarify something. The minor leagues are not like the, the major leagues. They don't have as many games. So the more you hit home runs in the minor leagues, it's still it's going to be more incredible. And 35 home runs is a lot for the minor leagues. So Steven Moyo really proved himself. And then the next season, once again, was amazing. As that season, he had a 243 batting average in 2015 with 23 home runs and 82 RBIs. Then after in 2016, he had a 284 batting average with 20 home runs and 66 RBIs. But then in 2017, that's when the fall came for him because he had a 213 batting average with 18 home runs and 50, and 50 RBIs. So how did he do in the major leagues? Well, while I was telling you those stats, he actually did play in 2014, 2015, and 2016. But he only played 51 games in total. And uh, while well, unfortunately for Moya, he never proved much. As in 2014, which is the best batting average year, but even though he only played 11 games, he had a 375 batting average with no home runs and no RBIs. 2015, 182 batting average, no home runs, no RBIs. But 2016 was the year he actually started proving something. He had a 255 batting average with 5 home runs and 11 RBIs. So that's pretty much all I got to say. Moya didn't prove much in the MLB, unfortunately. And I mean, just think about it. Steven Moya could have been incredible, all right? And especially with the juiced balls that they have today, this man could have really proven something to the baseball world. He could have proved that he's like Aaron Judge. He could have helped out the Detroit Tigers. He could have helped them out a lot. But unfortunately, not everything goes the way we want it. Now does it? Because you're probably wondering, what happened to Steven Moya after 2017? Well, after 2017, Moya would never return to minor league baseball or major league baseball ever again, at least for now. Because Moya, Moya played in the MLB the last season he was 25 years old. And he's currently 27. But he went to Japan. And would you like to know how he's doing there? He's actually proving himself. So in 2018, he had a 297 batting average with 6 home runs and 31 RBIs. That's not so bad. But 2019, he proved a lot. He had a 274 batting average with 23 home runs and 74 RBIs. So Moya is actually starting to prove himself in Japan. But here's what I think. If Moya can prove himself enough in Japan, I have a feeling his team could post him to the MLB and he can make a return. What do you guys think about that? Because, I mean, like I said the first time, this guy is 6'7 and is 260 pounds. 
And normally when a guy is that tall and has that much weight, he carries a lot of power in his bat. And that's what Steven Moya is. I mean, for goodness sake, in 133 games, he had 35 home runs in the minor leagues. You can tell me it's double A. I don't care. To me, that is amazing. And the Tigers did a good move drafting him as his first season. He actually played in the minors was 2009. And let me just clarify, he was 17 when he started off in the minor leagues. So that's also pretty incredible. But like I was saying, Steven Moya could be really bright for the future. He could have been really bright for the future of the Tigers. But unfortunately, he didn't really prove himself. He wasn't what everyone thought he would be. And his career kind of went in another path where he would go back to the minor leagues, wouldn't prove himself as much, and is now in Japan. But here's the question now. Is Steven Moya's home going to be in Japan? Is that where he's going to be staying for the rest of his career? Because let me clarify something. The man is 27 years old, and 27 years old is young and still in your prime. So if Moya can prove himself in 2020, he's going to be 28. And if he gets, let's just say he gets posted to the MLB in two years, he's going to be 29. And 29 is still in your prime and young. So what Steven Moya needs to do if he wants to return to the MLB, he needs to really prove himself, work harder, try to have a batting average close to 300, hit at least 30 home runs and have over 100 RBIs. And if he can do that, then just maybe he can get posted to the MLB again and get back on a team. That is going to be it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. What do you guys think? Do you think Steven Moya could have been really good? And how do you think he could do in the MLB if he could get posted again? I will see you all next time. I'm out.